Catherine Babona. I'm the country manager for CAA, Communications and Accessories International. Now change to CAA Energy, GmbH, Germany. We are an energy company and in Uganda we have worked to improve the lives of the people as our mission stands to improve the standards of living of the rural people in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, with Maif, uh, we are very grateful for the Ministry of Agriculture for giving us this opportunity for empowering agriculture as far per the Millennium Development Goal to eradicate poverty, to promote sustainable agriculture, and we are in line with them as we strive to change the people's the standards of living for their betterment. This project was sponsored by the Agriculture Cluster Program, SCDP, together with, uh, in partnership with the World Bank. And the government of Uganda, as a client, they gave us this, this opportunity to undertake. It's a big project, and this is just one of them. Uh, we have seven sites in total, which include the Hoima, which is Blindi, uh, there's a beam in Arua, there's Ngeta in Lira, there's Nabuin in Nablatuk, and there, this, this is Kamenyamigo in Luengo district, and Revitaba in Kabarole district. Uh, together we have installed over 85 acreages of the agriculture land, and that's um, about 35.8 kilowatts of, of solar energy. These are the projects which actually go to the rural people deep in the villages to ensure that they have water irrigation throughout, this, throughout the year and thereby they can beat the challenges of the weather, the hot weather, and um, they can have improved production of agricultural products, which in the end promotes uh, their, their lives. Kaminyamigo Satellite Station is within the Kato Corridor. Uh, when we talk about the Kato Corridor, this is an area which is so much affected by sunshine or drought. So it includes most of the districts uh, where animals are grazed. So the impact of drought is too much. Before installation of the irrigation scheme, the, we were affected by the drought. So we could get effects of drought, even right now, still an issue because we get short rainy spells like right now this is expected to be a long rainy uh, period but for us we haven't yet received rains uh, it is ex the rains are expected to run between august and up to november but right now we are getting into october and we haven't yet got rains so that one affects us so much it affects the production at the same time it affects um, the other activities running on the farm. This Kaminyamigo station sits on 320 acres, but the coverage which we got is approximately 14 to 16 acres. So you can tell the rationale. So the impact is there in the area where it has been covered because now we are planning to put high value crops in these 14 acres for the beginning. So we want to ensure that there is production throughout the year. And already there are other plants which are set up here. We have like a three acres of apple orchard, as you will see down there. Then there is also another area of coffee, which is covered down there. And even in this season, we have planted something like a three acres eh, where the area is irrigated. So we assume that by 2022, Season A, we shall use this area fully. And that one is going to help us because if we have 14 acres and we can engage around 10 acres uh, on high value crops, which are annual, those ones which can be planted seasonally, like for four months, six months, then it will keep us running. So we shall have crops like beans, we shall have crops like maize, we shall have vegetables, all will be grown in this area. Once we fully start, we shall be able to produce high value crops throughout the year 
with the help of the irrigation scheme. Also, the irrigation scheme is going to help us to cover our perennial fields. Because we have coffee, we do research on coffee. At the same time, we are generating seedlings for coffee. So we have our mother gardens down there. So once these ones are covered with the irrigation scheme, we shall ensure that the crops are getting water throughout the year. So another addition to this, uh, the area where we are, uh, on our station, we are not covered on the national water uh, and sewage cooperation grid. We are not covered on that grid. So we pump our water and we are facing challenges with our pumps. They break and then we repair, you know, the costs which are going by. So right now, once we pump water here, we bring our uh, bowser, we pump water into the bowser, then take it. If the irrigation scheme could be extended, at least that one would be better. If it could be extended to cover at least a hundred acres of arable land. Because when we talk about 320 acres, not all of those 320 acres are arable. Arable means the area which can be used for crop production. Okay? So there are areas which are marginal and not arable. Okay? But if we could cover at least a hundred acres, that would be to the best of our uh, I mean, usage. The other thing is, when you look at this scheme, you use the surface water source. You didn't drill. Okay? I have a feeling that it would be better if they drilled this water. Because now we are getting water from that swamp. It's a catchment area called Namajuzi, covering the whole of the Greater Massacre. But uh, what if the, 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 the water level dwindles? What, what is expected to happen? Okay, it, ha it happened some time back, but when we called the engineers, they told us how to adjust, uh, to adjust at the source. There are some points which we had to adjust, and then it continued running. So we have never faced any challenge, but in the future we would think Drilling can be better. If we look at our population, 80% of uh, the population depends on agriculture. So if we could do at least put such a project in each district, yeah, and uh, on, on, the, on the short run, then in the long run we could put in every sub-county. This could really be an impact to the people of Uganda because we are considered a fruit, ba a fruit basket, a food basket. But because of these weathers that affect the sun, the heat, the what, we don't really produce to capacity. So we should really put a, an effort in agriculture as we put in other areas. We should consider agriculture because it's the major employer of the people and it's what people depend on mostly. This project is like a drop in the water, in the ocean, I would say, because as we stand here in uh, Kamenyamigo, this land uh, here is over 350 acres and uh, this project covers only 12 acres. So as you look around, I can see some parts which are not covered by this program. I see the plants are not doing well. So we hope that the government of Uganda can still lobby for funds and uh, still put us in use to improve the lives of the people with the provision of more solar-powered irrigations.